right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Mass Effect 3 with the Soldier character. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's just get back to it. Where did the auto save? Um. Yeah. So we'll load from the save. I, I figured the auto save didn't save where I thought it did. Okay. That's why I always save at the end of these videos. That way, then I can pick up right exactly where I left off, you know? No, um... Last night for supper, I, um... Last night for supper, I, um, made fried chicken. It was really good. Where are the two doctors? Um... Patient's lounge... Yeah, okay. There they are. Okay. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Okay. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just on the hall. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Okay. Now we're gonna to take out take a look at Serta. We'll grab you. For coming to Serta. How can we help you? You you Serta is a non-profit organization you, dedicated to the medical needs of all sapiens. You All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Take the flowers, we'll take the sales go to help new upgrade for the metagel. All right.
Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. The narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required special findings. Meet you back here. Nothing in here? Alright. I know where we're going, it's just... I'm looking for, like, hidden quests, you know? Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Uh. Okay. Yeah, just making sure there wasn't any hidden quests here, so... Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. Scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. We'll bang, okay? <laughs> need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. Well, bang, okay? Those that may not know where that comes from, it's, um, from, um, YouTube poop. Um, somebody had made a YouTube poop of this game, so... And that was the, um... That was the catchphrase that they would use constantly for Shepard. Well, bang, okay? <laughs> you know, if I were smart, I'd just edit it uh, and piece it together, you know? Yeah, and I think that's it up here, except for the Spectre Requisitions office. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. 
There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Damn right they are. Spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well... That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Okay. Well, since now we got our Spectre status, we can go into the Spectre Requisitions office. We'll go here. This pretty much tells us, oh, we can authorize things and get, uh, and do stuff, pretty much. So pretty much they're telling us some intel here. Um, Quarry and Pilgrim, uh, whatever, on the Citadel received large credit transfer from the fleet. He purchased tech, including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters for several ship service centers on Ilium. Another pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no former formal offer or request for assistance has come. In Intel suggests that Quarians may instead be preparing for a conflict with the Geth. I really want that N7 Eagle. It is a good weapon. That N7 de Defender armor is really good, too, so... Um... I, I want that, too, so... We'll have to save the money for it. 
But I do want to hit all the shots just so I can um, link them to the ship. So. That way then I don't always have to come back to the Citadel. Games. And that's okay. Recent intel suggests that. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. So, we can't go anywhere else until we deal with the summit, which is kind of stupid. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. There she is. Or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye aye, Commander. Okay. I always like having her on the ship. She's good eye candy. <laughs> She's good eye candy. I hate these dream sequences. I really do. They could have done without these. And I know there's a there's a mod that takes these out. You got to look for the stupid kid and you got to follow him around and it gets really confusing where he goes. This one's not so bad, but later on you have to like follow him like three different times.
So now you have to follow this kid. And then you got to find where he's going to spawn. And it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I, I just don't see a point in this. I don't. They could have just animated this easily enough. Why you have to control Shepard in this, I have no fucking clue. And there's no dialogue in it. If there were dialogue in it, it'd be a little different, but there isn't. I am getting lag like fucking crazy. I don't understand why. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Ash is just the latest in a long line. She's a soldier like you. And she's a fighter. If anyone can get better on Will alone, it's her. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. 
I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. Okay, now we can finally explore the ship. They took out the lab in here and turned it into like a um, conference room, which I don't really understand, but whatever. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, we could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Oh, we will here in a minute. So Hackett wants us to go check out a Cerberus bait base. Um, Hackett also said, "Oh, we're reinstating you back into the Alliance." Okay. Um, this is pretty much saying, um, "Oh, there's an emergency out there. Watch out for the Reapers." Um, there's a dog down in the armory that got left in there, and they're like, "Oh, you could just keep it." The Corian fleet. They're finding out, going back to the Perseus Vale, so they're wondering if they're going to fight the Geth. Edie, um... Edie has given us something. Um, while we were in Dry Dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should we ever be reinstated, as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. He... Uh, he Edie chose something from the Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to, uh, to a jacket so they could wear it off duty. It's in the cabin, okay. Um, Glyph from um, Liara's ship. Oh, come check out Liara's room. There's a terminal you need to take a look at. And a mission from Alliance Command. Oh, we need you to go back to Eden Prime and check out something. We found something Prothean. And Cerberus is there. Okay. So we'll go to the crew deck. Because we don't really need to go anywhere. Well, we need to explore the ship, though. And talk to everybody. So... There's nothing in there. I don't think there's anything in here, is there? Nope. Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. 
We'll deal with it was less than ideal. I'm shocked. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. That? Okay. So. Baron has persuaded his contacts to a ship. An armor mod kit to the Normandy, technically illegal in Citadel space. The kit's Omni Gel converter and many manufacturing fabricator can make a one-time modification to Shepard's armor, improving his shield strength or adding thermal clip compartments. So what do we want? We'll take ammo capacity. Why not? Because we just shoot things as a soldier. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Okay. A new notification is available on the private. I forgot about that. The private terminal right here contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Doctor Tassoni has granted you access. So pretty much, um, you can read all of Liara's notes from the Protheans here. And also read some other things, too, that she finds out as the Shadow Broker. So, um, in 2171, the University of Saris agreed to sponsor Liara at the Prothean Dig on Retrip. Very exciting. Professor Hennel is heading the expedition herself. Maybe she can even, maybe Liara can even ask her for her opinion on her thesis. 2174, I believe Dr. Joshwin was right to suggest that the Prothean artifacts were we unearthed from are from the third age, not the fourth age. What an embarrassing mistake. At least he seemed to approve the rest of the paper. 2183 part one, I'm going on the Therum expedition. I never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Prothean ruins there. But the University of Saris must have secured the funding after all. Now to pack. Part 2 of 2183. Goddess, this human shepherd has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinctual, subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the commander touched the beacon on Eden Prime. I'll try to learn more about this cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reapers is troubling to say the least. 2185. I reviewed the old Shadow Brokers footage of the Collectors. It's chilling to know that they're the Protheans' husks. At least nothing Sentinel could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. And then here's a message from Oper Operative Farron to the Broker. I made contact with Tazik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy. You put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. i never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but... I just keep asking them, what did the odds ever stop the broker? When did the odds ever stop the broker? Fair. Yes, I hope you finally got our little friend Droney to stop saying 
Shadow and Broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. Eh. And no, it ain't, ain't nothing in the battery. That's right. There ain't nothing in the battery. Okay. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Okay. Now we're going to go downstairs. Here's a board right here. And I do need to take some pictures here now that I'm thinking about it. This is all the people that died. I'm trying to get turned around here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Because I want to get Shepard centered. There we go. There we go. We'll take a picture there. I need to take pictures for um, thumbnails is what I need to do. Um, we'll see if we can take one of Liara here, which doesn't look like we can. Okay. We'll wait till later because the characters move around in the ship later, so we'll just wait till later. Okay. Yep, this way. See if we can get a picture of Shepard with the with Diana here. Doesn't look like we're gonna get a good one. I'm trying, but doesn't look like I'm gonna. Come on. There we go. And There, let's try this. There we go. Okay. I'll see what she wants. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Okay. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. 
If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Okay, hey, give me a sec here. There we go. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, there we go. It just feels like I'm... Happened to, there we go. There. Okay, there's the dog they were talking about. Let's see if I can get a picture with James. Hey. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, <clears throat> or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> intel we could have used to destroy them. <clears throat> I chose the intel. <clears throat> Tough choice, but it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. Ooh. -hoo. You shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn. <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, loco. 
Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Oh, he doesn't keep the bloody nose. That sucks. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my guns ready. Take us a sniper rifle with extended barrel. The concentration mod. What's it do? It increases damage by 5%. Speeds perception by 25%. Enhancing aim for a brief time. Okay. And that just increases damage by 15. Okay. We we'll use the Avenger for now. See if we can... That one's not going to be a bad one. Okay. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Okay. So we're gonna check out the armor locker here. Nothing. All right. Okay. So now we need to talk to Joker and Mantha. We'll be good to go. Why they put a door for the bridge, I don't know. I don't know why the Alliance did that. Put a bulkhead here with a door, but whatever. They should have left it open. Can I take one of Joker? It doesn't look like I can. Nope, I can't. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> I didn't do that with this character, though. There we go. This will be a good one. Okay. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. 
We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Okay, so we can finally move on. Well, gotta check the private terminal. Okay, yep, we did all that. Okay, we're, we're gonna move on here. We're gonna do some missions here. Okay. There's the Cerberus lab. We're gonna look around. Hades Gamma, Heights Nest. Okay. So we'll just go around everywhere that doesn't have any missions. So we'll go to Hades Gamma. So we can scan and look for stuff. Unlike Mass Effect 2, you don't have to get the resources from every planet. But you have to be careful when you scan because then the Reapers will be uh, notified to your position. Like that. Something. It's not that big a deal if you alert the Reapers. It's just harder to get the stuff. There, we got some credits from Salvage. Not there. Not here. Evasion successful. Not here. It doesn't matter if you get everything. Faster than light jump successful. But I like to try to find it. See, look, there it is. Right there. Evasion successful. Okay. There we go. See, I wanted that fuel. I wanted that fuel. Okay. And this is where you find those upgrades for Glyph's terminal. Confirmed. Found them both. Nice. I'm sure there's a mod that tells you where everything is. I don't want that, you know. But hey, we got the war asset. Alright. We'll take this wreckage for fuel. It's the only thing I didn't like on Mass Effect 3. You had to scrounge for fuel. Faster than light jump. It's the only thing I did not like about this game is you had to scrounge for the fuel. I get it, you're at war, but um I don't know. I think it's that was just a bit excessive. Found something. Okay.
There we go. We'll take credits. I want those. Found it. There it is. We'll take that fuel. Evasion successful. Okay. Signal confirmed. Oh, so, what are we going to find here? Another special ops team for war asset. Nice. And that's all that was here. All right. Reapers eluded. And the last one is right here. And right here. You always do the one with the mass re relay last. That's the biggest tip I can give you on this one. There it is. I knew there was some wreckage here. All right, then we can get out of here with the mass relay. All right. We'll go to the kites next. next. Just so we can get some more um, resources. I know this is boring. But it's got to be done because you got to look for those upgrades, you know. You got to look for those upgrades. You got to look for stuff in this game. It makes the game easier, you know. Signal confirmed. Nice. I found the wreckage too. <laughs> nice. Only 100 units of fuel, but oh well. We'll take it. What are we going to find here? Another 10,000 credits. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We need every bit of these credits. We need every bit of them. Every bit of them. I found something. Found them both. Nice. There might be three in this one if I remember right. The Pillars of Strength. Alright, it's an artifact that we turn in. Yep, there's a third. I thought so. Wreckage. 300 units of fuel, I'll take that. And there it is. The last one. There we go. And there's the upgrade kit that I was telling you about. You always look for the resources because you could find those upgrades. You know, for Glyph. And then I want to go somewhere. I'm going to go to... Here. Because I think there's a um, fuel depot here, I'm thinking. Yeah, nothing. Okay. There we go. There. And we'll head over here to that server slab. 
once we um, get set up here, um, park the ship where we're supposed to go. Okay. Then we'll have to go back downstairs to get that upgrade. Always do your upgrades. Always do them. Never, ever, ever go through the game without the upgrade. I'm sure people have, but I, I like to do the upgrades. Sony found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Thank you, Glyph. Okay, the weapon upgrade kit. This field kit can be used for a one-time upgrade to a variety of weapons to increase ammo capacity or potential damage dealt. Alright, so we already got ammo capacity. We're going to do weapon damage this time. Alright. Because we're a soldier, we just shoot things, you know? Okay. Now. Signal confirmed. We're gonna get the resources here away from Cerberus. <laughs> For some more credits, I'll take those. I'll definitely take those. Hell yeah. Give me the fuel, too. There we go. And on to the lab. Will do you. You've got Avenger and Katana, great. Okay, there we go. You have nothing, you have nothing, and you have nothing. Okay. So like I said, I do apologize everyone looking around for all that stuff. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done, you know. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Just saw. Yeah, okay. I knew I saw something. I'm looking for items just in case. I know where to go, it's just I'm looking for items. That way, then I'm not fighting Cerberus to get them, you know?
got his ass. <laughs> Why? I forgot to put my ammo on. What does warp ammo do? Okay. Okay. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Okay, that's right. You gotta go back to the pad. Now, are they gonna meet me here? No? I'm surprised. Good work. Get it Get it Got your ass. There we go. I'm not good with the... No, I just heard one. Nope. Okay. I'm not good with the um, grenades. You have to be in here to bypass it. That's bullshit. It appears to be Reaper Tech. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like having your back to the wall. Never said it would be easy. That's how you deal with the fucking guardians right there. I didn't know you could throw a grenade at them and it would... Stay focused. This isn't over yet. I could do this all day. Where are they at? They're down there, I think. No? Cortez, do you copy? What's the set? Last thing, Commander. Just stay focused and keep at it. Holy shit. There we go. Dead. Do you copy? Put your ass. I hope he's still alive. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. See, I don't like that the uh, grenades bounce. You know? Ready for extraction as soon as you can get here. Oh. 
We're at the extraction point. Ready for pickup. <clears throat> Bastard snuck up on me. Got his ass. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't need. There we go. There we go. We got out. I about got killed. I was out of position. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Okay. We got that done. That gives us a good bit of credits. Though I don't think it'll be enough to get the M7 weapons. Okay. Nothing? Alright. Okay. So where we're gonna go next is the Prothean um artifact on Eden Prime. Let's see what's going on at Eden Prime after we check out what's here. I found something. There's the wreckage. Back over here, here it is. Okay. Okay, we got the Javelin mission launchers for war asset. Cool. Get out of here. Head over here. <laughs> Need to check out what's... I say it's this way, but apparently it's not. Huh. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Signal confirmed. Okay, there's some intel. That's good. We need that. Okay. There's that. Sixty right here, Terra Nova. That's where we saved um, from Asteroid X fifty seven. We got the Alliance Cruiser Shanghai. Evasion successful. Okay. There it is. Eluded. And we'll hit this real quick. Even if we get caught by the Reapers, I know where everything is. So, well, everything I've found so far. Okay. Then light jump successful. Okay. 
Nothing. Successful. There's something. Reapers eluded. That's what we're looking for. The wreckage. Why are you looking for wreckage? It's just fuel. Yeah, that's true, but I, it's free fuel. You know? It's free fuel. And there's something here, but I'm going to have to wait because I need to um, change over my laundry, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, everyone. I found something. Two hundred units of fuel. There it is. I knew there was another one. I knew there was another one. Okay. So here we go, back to Eden Prime. The Aura wants to go with us. Okay, we did get a level, so what all do we want to upgrade? Duh. We'll do fitness. Um, Liara, we're not going to deal with stasis because that's, to me, is useless. And... James can get his fortification. We'll give him durability. We'll make him a meat shield. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on mine. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. Right. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. 
All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivor. Come on, we need to find the dig site. So Eden Prime got an upgrade. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. But they'll be stronger for it. We'll take the salvage. We always want the salvage. Whips, I'll take those. Med kit, I'll take that. There, that's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's a Prothean. You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh shit, here they come. Heads up! Let's get moving before more of them come back. Okay. So I'm going to really search around here because there's supposed to be a hidden quest here. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. No, we're not going here yet. We're... So, I mean, I don't mean to bore y'all with this, but I, I have to find... Oh, 
Oh, James is fighting, huh? There we go. Got your ass. Okay. Footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Okay, but we're not going there yet. We're not going there yet. We're looking for. Okay, resistance information update. We got word from our source with an Eden Prime resistance movement that we can expect an attack. On our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They may might even put him in charge. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Okay, that's what I think I was looking for. That's what I think I was looking for. I've, I've never found that before, and I'm thinking that's what I was looking for. Stupid old mag kit. Okay. that to open the life pod you understood that you didn't no all i saw was static cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success the prothean cipher you received on pharaohs it lets you see the images as a prothean would and understand their language whatever it does i saw the video and how they sealed the life pods perfect then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode okay
Now, I can't quite remember where it's at. Um... I am going to look around, though, for more items, because you never know. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Oh, I think this is where we're supposed to go. I'm not in a good spot here. There we go. There we go. It won't let me throw up over there? That's bullshit. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. See, that's the thing. I mean, these grenades are so hard to use. They, they really are. They're really hard to use. The first game, once you got the hang of it, it was they were easy to use. But this one, it's really hard. You got to know how to lob them, and you got to know how to get them not to bounce away where you want them to go, and... readiness signal to all life pods and the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire you understood that one too yeah I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. That's how you take down enemies, you flank them. Blow up the combat engineer's turret.
Uh oh, there we go. Ah, crap. What I do with it? There it is. Give me a sec here, everyone. I gotta turn off. There's some buttons underneath I gotta turn off. Um, 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 um. Deactivate. Damn it. I just did what it said. Come on. Let me see the graphics here real quick. Fuck that. Turn that shit back down to 30. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yes, it looks smoother, but my graphics card wouldn't be able to handle 240 frame cap. They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. There we go. Yeah, there's buttons underneath my controller, and it was causing me to fire my weapon. And I don't know how it gets turned. I turn them off, but I don't know how they get turned back on. some ammo here hell yeah okay processing update we've been we've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods the colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet 
when we increased food rations as payment for work, most of the compliance died out. Most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Even if I don't find it all, oh well. You know? I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. I'm gonna swap to the Manus. Disruptor ammo. Nice job. Uh. Here they come. I had you scoped. Fucking James wouldn't have shot. Not your ass. There. You're part of the problem. There, I got him. Shit. That all of them? Yep. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Okay. Slow, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Okay, the Manus is going to help me out here. There, I got the window busted open. Then I got the... Fucker. There we go. Get in here. Ugh. 
There we go. There. You can open the life pod now. Okay. That's how you take out those atlases. Don't try to blow them up. You want to try to, um, break the, um, you want to break the cockpit window and kill the soldier inside. may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. I remember the first time um, I played this. I, I went to the midnight release of, Mid of Mass Effect 3. And I remember I got the um, collector's edition. Profian. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. 
Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Okay, so like I was saying, I remember the first time I played this. I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. I remember we all freaked out. Me and a buddy of mine freaked out. Oh my god, a real Prothean! You know? What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which? You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, 
I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Uh. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. 
None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik, though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Okay. So we got us a living Prothean now. Okay, that's where I'm going to call it for this video. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. And I'll see you all next episode.